Now, if we have both an electric field and a magnetic field, we just saw that that the force in a magnetic field is equal to is equal to Q V cross B. And if we have both the electric and magnetic field, let's say if we have an electric field V, then the electrostatic force is given by the electrostatic force is given by Q E, right? That is Q E. So in the presence of both the electric and the magnetic field, the total force is given by Q E plus Q V cross B. See, this is pretty choosy about whether the charge is moving. But this field is not, right? So, so, so the force that it exerts on a moving charge or the stationary charge remains the same irrespective of its velocity, right? Now, this can be written as Q E plus plus V cross B E plus V cross B. This is called the Lorentz force. This is called the Lorentz force. This came from these two things. The 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 magnetic the magnetic force that we derived. That is this, isn't it? This is the magnetic part of it, this one, this is F magnetic and, and this we have already done in chapter 1, that is F electric, electrostatic. So it is a superposition of the two forces, in the presence of the two fields, it is superposition of the two forces. Okay. Now the magnetic field, the, the, the magnetic field has got its unit as the magnetic field unit. The magnetic field unit is Tesla and is denoted by capital T. You'll also come to know later that it is also equal to Weber per meter square. Okay, where, where, where WB stands for Weber, Weber, right? It is also Weber per meter square. Now these are huge fields, and when we are dealing with the Earth's magnetism, the fields that we experience experience are are small. So, so there is a smaller unit of it called Gauss, where one Gauss is 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla. Okay. So there are basically three units, one called Tesla, another called Weber per meter square and another called Gauss. Okay. They are the same. Okay, one Tesla is the same as one Weber per meter square. Okay, they are the same, but not this. One Gauss is 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla. Right? Now, let us try to apply whatever we have learned. Okay, let us say there is purely a magnetic field in this direction a uniform magnetic field pointing in this direction B right and let us say let us say I shoot a 
shoot a negative charge in this direction. Let's say this charge itself is negative and its magnitude is Q. Okay, this is the direction of the velocity. And I want you to calculate the force experienced by this charge. Okay, how do we go about it? We first of all, this is our magnetic field, so we first of all set them as O initial vectors, right? The, the V vector like that, the, the V like that, right? And, and the V like that, right? We make it O initial first. This is your V, this is your B. I know that the magnetic force has to be F magnetic has to be Q V cross B V cross B now we know that we have to keep this hinged and move the first vector on to the second through the smaller angle let us do that we do that the direction becomes the direction becomes counter clock isn't it this going like that is moving in the opposite direction to the to the middle of of a go inverse yeah now if, if this is a right hand it's true then what happens if you if you do do it if you if you turn it counter clockwise then it will tend to come towards you right so the field direction so so the force direction so the force direction is is this it comes out fine it comes out so v cross b is inside or not v cross b is outside right this is the direction of v cross b but we have not yet reached the force because it needs to be multiplied by Q. Is it not? Now Q, this is the direction of V cross B. And V cross B is inside, right? V cross B is outside. No? So there's a V cross B. V cross B. Counterclockwise. If you go like hmm. do that. Do that. Okay. Yeah. Sir, uh, don't we get it from the smaller angle? Yeah. Sir, so we take one on the other by the smaller angle. Yeah, smaller angle. This is the smaller angle. See that? Either, either you go like that. Or you go like that. The smaller angle is what? The smaller angle is? Is this yes, right? So this is counterclockwise, no? The lower one going on to the upper one, that is the counterclockwise. Okay. You can exp experiment it by opening the opening the cap of a bottle. Just hold it in front of you, turn it counterclockwise, ensure there is no water inside. It will come towards you. To the smaller one right? goes to the uh, bigger one. Not the smaller, the first one goes to the second one. Whatever you have written here as first, okay, in A cross B, V cross B, V comes first. So you pick the first vector, locate the second vector, take the first vector, take the first to the second, through the smaller line. Get that. See what direction is that? Okay, rotate in that direction a right handed screw. Why are we always saying right handed screw? Because there are also left handed screw so they will behave exactly the opposite but you do not have to get scared those are very very rare and there is every possibility you have not come across them yet ok those are industrial screws they have got specific usage ok 
so 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 they are they, whatever you have come across whatever kind of screw you have come across till now okay that is inevitably a right handed screw 99% of them 99.9% are right handed okay so so i take the first to the second so the direction of v cross b is that but that is not the force force comes in when you multiply it with q when you multiply it with q and q we have stated is a negative charge so it becomes a scalar multiplication of 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 this vector scalar multiplication of this vector we know that this is a vector this vector points outward now i multiply this by a negative number what is going to happen okay it will we have seen that a negative multiplying a vector by a negative scalar changes the direction of the vector correct it changes the direction of the vector so so if 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 you have a vector like that say a and you tend to multiply it by by minus 2 then what happens then what happens its its magnitude will become minus 2a we we want minus 2a what happens what happens its magnitude becomes the double its magnitude its becomes the double and the magnitude direction becomes the opposite correct so the magnitude gets double and the direction becomes opposite so so this looks like approximately double the magnitude right and the length becomes twice so this negative this negative changes the direction changes direction the negative sign right this negative sign okay this does what this multiplies the length by 2 multiplies the length that is the magnitude by 2 this one and both both these things are happening to vector a okay so you change the direction multiply it by 2 that is what is minus 2a so when i multiply this by minus q i multiply the length i multiply this length by q and change the direction you see it so so the direction is opposite so it will experience a force in a direction that goes into the plane of the screen get that 90 degree i am showing it this because i am forced to represent a, a 3d on a 2d okay so what i am showing as an oblique one that is actually moving in okay that is moving in that is kind of a a poor 3d representation of 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 the whole scheme right so so this becomes your your force due to the magnetic field q v cross b okay fine so the negative particle is going down to the velocity v that is given right yeah so that minus q is going down to given sign It was uh, minus q. It's going down with the velocity that was given. That was given, yeah. The velocity was given. The b is also yeah. given. Okay. It's also the magnitude of q is also given, and and the polarity of that is also given. Okay. It may be. It may. It may so happen that you are asked to find out the the polarity of the charge given the direction of the force. Okay. So so I might have asked you. to to say find out the 
to find out the what if what if the forces like that and the velocity and the velocity is is like that then find out the polarity of the charge whether it is positive or negative so this is your velocity okay the b is already given in this field and 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 this shows as i told you the 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 one that is oblique that is coming towards you this is the direction direction of the force okay i'm not interested in in the magnitude then then and, and a charge has been shot upwards so can you tell me the polarity of the charge the polarity of the charge yes so this is your v right this is your v n and this is your b that's your v this is your b and and this is your force fine this is the direction of the force okay so so first of all c and, and i know that that the magnetic force is equal to f magnetic is is equal to q into v cross b right so what happens so what happens it's negative v and b okay v and b are v cross b is 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 there right v cross b is directed into the paper right by by the same by the same rule that we have done this comes onto this through the smaller angle the first one goes to the second through the smaller angle clockwise goes into the paper but since this is outward in the opposite direction it must have been multiplied by a negative number the scalar that that multiplies with it must be negative and hence it becomes hence it it, it comes out so so the charge on the the, the the polarity on the charge right so so the polarity on charge is negative right so so many ways that that this equation can be tested your knowledge of this equation can be tested but but your aim is to just understand what a cross product is just identify the directions be extremely careful about aligning them as a coinitial vector where tails should come together do the cross product multiply by the scalar you will always inevitably get the answer right now let us see the characteristics of the magnetic force okay the characteristics of the magnetic force it not only depends on on q not only depends on b it also depends on the velocity right so so the first thing that we say is it depends on on q v and b right q v and b 
एंड साइन थी इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द डायरेक्शन ओके इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द डायरेक्शन राइट and and as we have seen that the direction the, the force on a negative charge force on a negative charge is is charge is opposite in direction to that of the positive charge is opposite in direction to the positive charge okay that's one now we have seen that it's a vector product and and in all these examples you must have seen one thing that the force is is if 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 this is the plane that contains v cross b that means the screen is the plane that contains v and b then the force is perpendicular to the plane right and it will always happen the fo the force is perpendicular to the plane containing v and b okay so so the the direction of the second one the the direction of the force of the force is perpendicular to the plane containing to the plane containing containing v and b right it's perpendicular to the plane that contains v and b either either in one direction or the other right there are there are two perpendiculars right so so if 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 this is the plane there are two perpendiculars to it right one coming outward another going inward it depends actually on on the directions of v b and 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 the polarity of the charges but maybe Either, either either it comes out like that or it or it kind of goes in like that right either of the two now there is an interesting thing that all the parameters can remain remain non zero and still the force may vanish so when do we have a vanishing force force can be zero if v is equal to zero if it is static it experiences no force or theta is equal to 0 degree or 180 degree that is the velocity is is parallel or anti parallel or anti parallel to the the velocity is parallel or anti parallel to the direction of the field to the direction of the field get that Do we get that? Yes. Yeah. So everything is non-zero. Still, you have there, there. There is a non-zero velocity. There is a non-zero b. There is a non-zero q. Okay, and you still have the force as zero. So, so, so if you shoot it, if you shoot it parallel to this, okay. So say something like that, or or something like that. Okay, zero degree or one eighty degree, the velocity goes to the velocity goes to zero. Okay, so that is the characteristic of the magnetic field. Fine. 